Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. We have exclusive new information tonight about one of the most perplexing mysteries in Washington. As you may have heard, Andrew McCabe, he's the deputy director of the FBI, announced today he's leaving his job. And the most obvious question is why is he doing that? Was he pushed or did he decide to leave himself? Well, you may know McCabe's name because he's been in the news repeatedly over the past several years. In 2016, it emerged that McCabe's wife had taken a large sum of money collected by one of Hillary Clinton's closest friends. This is significant because McCabe himself helped lead the investigation into Hillary Clinton's email server. You know the one, the investigation in which Clinton was exonerated before she was even interviewed. McCabe never recused himself from that investigation. So was Andrew McCabe fired today, and was that firing the result of information contained in the still famous but still mysterious House Intelligence Committee memo, the one everybody is talking about but nobody outside of Congress has actually read? We decided to spend the day finding out all we could about that memo. We made a lot of calls. We talked to quite a few people who have read it. Here's what we learned. The memo, which is four pages long, primarily describes abuses of FISA, that's the law that allows the U.S. government to spy on American citizens for the purpose of stopping foreign threats, and only for that purpose. Spying on Americans is supposed to happen only in extraordinary circumstances, and of course never for political reasons. That would be a disaster. That's why we have FISA in the first place, to prevent that from happening. But that law has been abused, and the memo describes how. Quote, it's shocking, says someone we spoke to who has read it. It doesn't answer every question. It's not the final word on anything. But there's definitely enough there for criminal charges. Andrew McCabe is indeed mentioned in the memo. A number of our sources confirmed that to us. Is that the reason he left his job today? We couldn't get a definitive answer on that. It seems the memo likely played some part in his leaving. But in the course of our reporting, we learned something else from the source. McCabe is the subject of at least one internal DOJ investigation, maybe more than one. DOJ Inspector General Michael Horowitz has been investigating politically motivated behavior at the Bureau during the 2016 election. One source told us that McCabe's resignation is likely tied to Horowitz's work. Other outlets have reported that FBI Director Christopher Wray proposed demoting McCabe over the findings of the Inspector General. 